Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want to start, for people that may not know you or may not be familiar with your work, your story has a lot of currents that affect listeners at UAuth Revolution. Health, challenges, wealth and poverty challenges, and even miraculous recoveries. Take me back to the beginning, Julie, and, and your story and how you wound up here today. Well, I, um, as a child at age 12, uh, we were on vacation in the Nevada desert, and I got exposed to the bomb testing, the underground atomic bomb testing. And then at 24, became uh, terminally ill while pregnant with my third child. And um, I had five surgeries that year, and really, I had terminal cancer. They had said, you know, half the people die within the first year, and I was carrying a baby. So I was able to get through that pregnancy and deliver an eight-pound baby boy, but I, my body was 104 pounds, and I was just barely alive. A few, few weeks after his birth, I was 96 pounds, like two weeks later. So I literally survived the atomic bomb testing in the Nevada desert. And I died the first time at 24 in my living room. And I was hovering over my body. I could see my body, and I saw my life pass before me. And I, I said, God, I'm not ready to go. I feel like I'm supposed to do something. And I pushed myself back into that very weak, very thin body. And I uh, started just blaming life for myself. It just really, really clung to life. I felt like there was something I was supposed to do. And I went through a really rough time, and I was really sick. I lost custody of my children. Um, I went to school for a while. Um, and I, I threw all of that. Through many years, I had 17 surgeries. I had 10 years of radiation treatment. See, I mean, no one even survives 10 years of radiation treatment. It's just crazy. But I did. And um, 17 surgeries. I had two kinds of cancer. And I died a second time. And... Uh, and I came to this point about 10 years ago where I said, I can't take this anymore. God, take me or make me well. You promised me the Garden of Eden, and I'm living in hell on earth. And I went to my garden in prayer and meditation, and I every day, sick as I was and as much pain as I was, I sat out in my garden and I chanted and I prayed. And this is a little condo garden. This is a tiny little walkway garden, you know. And um, the neighbors heard me. There was some magic going on. They all said they felt blessed. But what was happening for me in the very first day is I watched in my mind's eye about the second hour, I watched uh, a master cell in my mind's eye, like in my brain. I don't know where it was, but it was this beautiful master cell, and it was very thick. And it, it shifted in the quantum field. It shifted to this pulsing blue orb. And it was so remarkable, Darius. I, I felt like I was looking at the face of God and that my body was different than I had imagined it before. Like, you know, you get radiation contamination and you're, you're dead, basically. You know, you, you can't live through that. But there, there it was. It rebuilt itself, went to this, this God state and started repopulating my body with new cells that weren't contaminated, that weren't damaged by the radiation. And over... Wow. At that point, I was in so much pain, but I had refused, at that point, I had refused pain medication anymore. So I'd gone through withdrawals, I'd done the whole thing, gotten off of all of that. I was walking with canes. Um, they really didn't expect any kind of life from me. They thought I would be in a wheelchair and bed bound within a year or two. And all of a sudden, my body was regenerating, and it was regenerating rapidly. And within six months, I was running 
running 30 miles a week on a mountain trail. Now, this is something they said you wouldn't even be able to walk normal again without a cane, and I was running. And I went back to dancing on stage with a rock and roll band. And they said, you'll never dance again. And I started rebuilding my life. And, and while I was rebuilding my life, the doctors and scientists in my, my life were like, what is going on with you? You're getting better really fast from something you've been sick from a long, long time. And I, I was changing. My appearance looked so different. I Somebody said to me, I looked like the child of myself, or I looked 20 years, the 20-year younger mm-hmm. version of about a year after this regeneration started happening. So I, I wrote, the, the doctors and scientists asked me to, the Your Divine Human Blueprint, that's the book I wrote from them asking questions. And at the time, it was hard for me to articulate what was happening to me because I was seeing things not in the English language. I was seeing things in the blueprint, in the human blueprint, and in the quantum field. And I was, I really, it really was a push for me to define it. It's a 600 page book. And, but I found my way through it. And, um, I think the, the thing that was so blissful about this was on the journey of writing the book, I helped thousands of people, you know, heal themselves and get better. And I think one of the, one of the things you have to know, which you mentioned is being sick for 20 years. And having radiation treatment for 10 years with 17 surgeries every year, it was a major surgery, it was a major crisis. You might be able to build some money up and then it goes away again. And you build up some money and it goes away again. There was a point where I was homeless. And, um, you know, the quantum field and that request and really the knowing, I, I knew that God had promised me the Garden of Eden and I knew I wasn't living in it. I knew that in my whole heart. And so that new understanding of, I'm meant to have the Garden of Eden. I'm meant to live in the Garden of Eden. Started allowing me to step up. And it took a little time, but I, I moved from, you know, from where I was to where I am now in a multi-million dollar estate, adopting children in very, very, very good health. People always think I'm around 40 and I'm 60. Going, I'll be 61 next week. Um, Gosh, and uh, I didn't know. I never would have thought. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So I, I just want to say that all things can shift in the field. And, you know, it's it's really strategic. And it's also, though, having certainty or knowing or just like being aware that you were promised something better than what you've had and not being apathetic, yeah. not, oh, this is what I've always had and so this is what I'm always going to going to have in the future or worse. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. It's an incredible story. Julie, one thing I want to ask, if you could, I don't know if it's possible to raise your volume a little bit, or if there's anything you can do, I want to make sure everybody can hear. Um, oh, yeah. But, okay, yeah. And while you do that, I want to talk about where you were when you were at a, the place where it was challenging for you, um, living in your car, yet something interesting happened. You became, as I, I've read your story, I think the number one real estate Agent in the area? Tell me about that. <laughs> that that's true, Darius. Um, yeah, I was in Menlo Park, California. Well, even before that, uh, let's let's back up. Um, okay, so Minnesota, I, I definitely was top agent. Uh, I was winning awards for both listings and sales, but I was a, I was definitely focused on um, being a buyer's agent. And then in Menlo Park, um, went into a top real estate agent a firm, and I was living out of my car. Nobody knew. Um, I had put my things into storage because I didn't have money to pay uh, for mm. a place to live. I didn't have money for my – because I'd been sick for a long time. And um, yeah. anyway, it was really funny because I was selling properties left and right. And uh, people were asking, how are you doing this? I was like, I'm using okay. the law of attraction field. So I, I created this kind of uh, technique of – of magnetizing, and so I was bringing in in a, such a way that people that were like the whole office wanted to be part of something. They asked me, "Would you teach this? Would you teach what you're you're doing?" And so literally, I I would go in at like 5:30 in the morning. I'd wash up in the real estate office's bathroom, put on new fresh clothes, 
and then I'd be the first one in the office. I'd be all dressed and fresh <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and ready for work. Um, but I was teaching this law of attraction. Of course, I, I moved out of that a situation of poverty after a, a time because I made enough money to pay off the debts and, you know, get into a, a home. Um, but yeah, um, it was, it was amazing to me too because I, I think I had, at that point, I had, uh, eight, uh, eight sales and three listings that were going into sales. So I had like 11 sales, which is unheard of in real estate all at once. You know, there was just a tre- tremendous amount of, uh, magnetic wealth, wealth coming okay. to me that was just kind of unbelievable. So somebody who's homeless has 11 sales in the hopper. So the, for those of you who are real estate agents, you know that that's, that's like a pretty unbelievable story. Hello and welcome. This is Jerry Sparzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.